Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Remco from RGVGuitars.com. Proud to show you this week's new arrivals. And it's a pretty exciting bunch by Gibson, Gretsch, Rickenbacker and Porridge Smith. I'm gonna start off with the new Greeny, the Kirk Hammett version. This is the European version with the Indian Rosewood fretboard. It was just released. It's a Murphy lab with a stunning top on this one, as you can see. Only one week old, I just received it. Uh, happy to offer it to you guys. The aging job on this one is pretty extreme. I will show it to you in detail. You can see all the checking, the wear on the hardware. Even the knobs have some green on them. They really went all the way with these. Take a look at the headstock. They replicated the crack on the back, as you can see. And all the wear, they changed tuners, obviously. Look at all that checking. forget the case the guitar weighs 3.9 kilos pretty nice weight you can see Kirk Hammett's initials in there To the next one. This is a Gibson ES 335 1964 historic reissue in Palom Blue 2022 guitar. The regular viewers may know this one, I had it recently, but the buyer couldn't bond with it, so asked me to set it for him. So now it's back online. Beauty, right? Okay, on to the next one. I'm proud to offer a vintage Gretsch collection. I was asked to sell some Gretsches from the 50s and 60s, and this 1967 Gretsch Viking is an exceptional piece with the original case and OK card all included. Beautiful, beautiful piece. Original parts, some wear on the binding, as you can see. Some wear, <laughs> some binding gone, as you can see. Later in the video, I will show you another old Gretsch with the same issue. Pretty common on these. Okay, now something completely different a much more modern guitar, a Paul Reed Smith private stock McCarthy single cut with a stunning quilt maple top, Cocobolo fretboard, matching headstock with the eagle inlay, flame maple bindings and a flame mahogany neck. Take a look at that. Pretty spectacular wood. Okay, now let's do something more affordable. This is a Gibson Les Paul Studio Pro from the year 2011. It has a Joe Perry vibe with the gray burst finish and the black hardware. From factory, it has two push-pull pots for some more tone possibilities. Grover Junis, all in black. Great guitar for the lower budget. Okay, this is a Rickenbacker 12 string, a 330 from the 90s. In the original case, great tone in these. I don't have to tell you which legendary players and bands used all of these. You know about those. Great tone. 
Okay, this is this is a Gibson Les Paul Standard 1956 historic gold top with the P90s from the year 2006. It has the old certificate, as you can see, the nice paper. Comes with all the goodies. Original strap pins are there. Take a look at that fretboard. I love the fretboard on this one. Nice wild grain on this. And here is another one of the old Gretsch's. A 1954 Gretsch 6192. It's a big hollow body with a beautiful flame maple top, neck, back, and sides. Stunning guitar. Acoustically, this one already sounds truly epic. <laughs> Use it as an acoustic actually. Beautiful, beautiful piece. And here's another beautiful Gretsch, a 1967 Gretsch Countryman Chet Atkins model in walnut finish. In the original case as well. The pig art is totally totally destroyed and in the back but it's all in pieces as is the binding also pretty worn on this one as you can see but what a tone what a vibe beautiful collection this week old and new so I hope you like this week's arrivals. Please check rjvguitars.com for availability. And if you have something similar to sell or trade, please let me know. Always nice to hear from you. For now, have a good day. Bye bye.